Today we have a comparison for you. 2016 Kawasaki Vulcan Custom, 2014 Yamaha Bolt R-Spec. Both of these bikes were purchased brand new. The uh, biggest difference in the two of them is the Kawasaki does not have any perceptible wobble at speed, whereas my Yamaha Bolt R-Spec has a whole lot of head shake at anywhere between 35 and 70 miles per hour. Now I took the Yamaha to three different dealerships. They replaced the front wheel, rebuilt the forks, and then over tightened the steering stem and said that it was the nature of the beast that these wheelbase bikes just ride like that. But since I have the Kawasaki right here, I know that that's bullshit. The Kawasaki does not have any of that shake or wobble at any speed. One big difference is the Kawasaki has solid mounted handlebars. The Yamaha has rubber mounted bars. I think that makes a big difference. Okay, upgrades so far. I did put the tweak bars and the gaiters on the Yamaha. Baron's crash bars, custom made bash guard. I did the fender eliminator kit on the back. Put the ox blood red saddlebags on there with the tall sissy bar, passenger seat and foot peg kit. And the coolest thing I did was I converted it to the open billet contrast cut primary belt pulley setup so you can see that thing turning as it goes. I love the color. I love the look of the bike. The instruments are extremely hard to read. Now a little about the Kawasaki. The Kawasaki has a larger gas tank. It has a bit more comfortable seat. It has been upgraded to the Freedom Performance uh, Street Sweeper pipes, which makes a huge difference in the way it sounds. It has a lot healthier, deeper tone to it, a lot louder. Put the big crash bars on this one. Otherwise, it's stock. The Kawasaki has a 21-inch front wheel, which rides a lot better on the highway. And for a slightly heavier bike, it actually has a lighter steering feel to it. Easier to negotiate small turns, tight radius turns, and parking lots, etc. The fit and finish on the Kawasaki is comparable to the Yamaha. They're both top quality. There are some things that they've left unfinished. Cost point, you know, they didn't finish some certain areas of the frame. Left the castings a little rough. That seems to just be the nature of the beast on these bikes as some of the welds are exposed and things on both bikes where they could have you know went to a little higher degree of detail but in the price range you're getting a lot of technology both bikes have the disc brakes front and rear um, they run and ride really good really strong lots of low-end torque the Kawasaki's been up to about a buck twelve uh, the Yamaha's been up to about a buck eight so I mean they'll run with the big guns but uh, they're not really sport bikes, they're what I like to think of as kind of sporty cruisers. But if you're considering buying either the Kawasaki Vulcan or the Yamaha Bolt, this information might help you a little. If I had to do over again, I'd probably just get the Kawasaki, honestly. I fell in love with the color and style of the Bolt and I still plan on putting some street sweeper pipes on it and blacking some more stuff out. Well, folks, it's a beautiful day. I think we're going to take the bikes and go for a little ride. hope you've enjoyed my little comparison. If you have any questions, post them in the format here.